Completing her first cross-country flight, the majestic Navy dirigible Macon was hailed by 5,000 spectators as she arrived at Sunnyvale, California, her permanent home. It was a tense moment at the base with the sky giant coming into land. Her 785-foot silver bulk gleaming in the sun, the world's biggest dirigible was a stirring sight as she dropped gently down toward her mooring mass, dumping water ballast to trim ship. Handled perfectly by her crew, the Macon nosed into the cup on top of the 285-ton mast without a hitch, making fast to her anchor. Commander Dressel supervised operations from the control cabin, securing his ship with the ease of a veteran at the end of the 3,000-mile flight from Lakehurst. A great experience for Sunnyvale, the homecoming of the Macon.